what advice would you give to people like yourself who, you know, came to Hollywood with this dream or even in New York with a dream of, you know, I want to do what she's doing or I want to pitch a show. How do I go about doing that? I think for young writers, there are a couple of things. One is to follow your heart in terms mm -hmm. of what you want to write. It's really important to follow your heart. It's very hard... I think it's very hard to write stuff that someone says to you, hey, would you do a, sh a show about football players? And it may be a great idea for a show. Right. Not for me. Yeah. That's not something that I know anything about or could write about. So follow your heart. The other thing is when you write a script, read it out loud. Mm. Scripts are not to be read. Hmm. They are to be spoken. So every draft, have someone read it, give you notes, and then get a bunch of your friends together and read it out loud. We hmm. do that a lot in the writer's room. We'll finish a scene and we'll just, you know, do writer's room theater. That's a great idea. And it yeah. really helps because ultimately that's where it has to live. Yeah. And you got to see if it comes off authentically. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that is the other piece of advice I would give um, learn to deal with rejection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of that. I, I, I think you can learn a lot from rejection and failure. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you get rejected for terrible reasons, but sometimes there's something to learn from it. Mm -hmm. There's something that wasn't working, even if you loved it, you can learn something from it and not make that mistake next time. Yeah.